Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm making lentil patties. They're like a replacement for meat. Sometimes when I have meat and veg, it's lentil patties and veg. It's, it's quite nice. So I thought I'd show you guys one way that I make them. I make them heaps of different ways, but this is one of my favorite ways. So I am going to show you how. So what I do is first of all, I get onion. I have like a bunch here, but you guys can use the amount that you want to, you know, use for your, you know, how many patties you want. What I'm going to do is I'll make enough for tonight, but not just tonight. These patties will be, um, they'll, they'll be put in the freezer as well. Any that are left. And then during the week, if, you know, or even the fortnight, month, whatever, you know, whenever I want to have something that's easy, you know, all I want to do is just pop some, you know, vegetables in the steamer. No, you know, you can put whole potatoes, whole whatever's, whole carrots in the steamer and have them quickly fry up in the pan, um, a lentil patty or put it in the oven and then you've got like your meal basically made, simple as anything. So they are the best to do. Um, so I, I also, when I freeze them, I freeze them when they're already cooked. So it's like basically already cooked. You just literally warm them up. So if you have a microwave, you can put it in the microwave as well. So yeah. Um, so what I do is I like to um, kind of caramelize the onion a little bit. Just makes the flavor a lot nicer in the actual patty. I used to um, do them, um, I used to do them like put the onion and stuff in, uh, I used to put the onion in um, like raw, but it just, it didn't have that really good flavor that I'm looking for. So I started caramelizing them and cooking a bunch of stuff before I actually um, like make them. So this is what I do. <laughs> so maybe I should have cut some of the onions up before I started. But that's all right. I'll just quickly whip through these. Um, this is what we're having for dinner tonight, so I thought I'd do the, um, my recipe on here so you guys can see what's actually in my um, lentil patties. And you don't have to use lentils. If you don't like lentils, you can use other types of beans. Some car drum pass really loudly. <laughs> oh, oh, these are going to make me cry if I'm not careful. Sometimes I have good onions and they just, they don't make me eyes. Um, or sore butts and cry, but sometimes I have them and oh, it's terrible. End up like bawling the whole way through. <laughs> but these ones, you know, they seem quite alright. Oh, I didn't get a spatula again, but I can just use the masher. It's fine. All good. What I'm going to do is a little bit of water just to make sure that it's just a tiny bit. Just so it gets a bit like moving around and cooking. Um, you don't have to use oil, you know, like you can always just use water and it's a great replacement for oil. I personally prefer to use the water because, um, especially since I've had my gallbladder out, oil just really doesn't, doesn't go very good for me. So that's specifically why I use the water mostly when I'm cooking. So. Shove them in. I know I seem to cook a lot when I cook. I have always cooked in bulk. I guess it's a lazy way of cooking in some regards because it means I don't have to cook for sometimes two days, sometimes a day, you know. It really depends on how much I'm eating and all that kind of, how much my family's eating. Um, today it rained. It was, it was, um, just when my daughter was coming home from school too and um, what I do is I, I ring her when she walks home from school just so I like know that she's okay when she's walking and stuff like that and um, it started pouring just after she started walking and of course she didn't have her umbrella which she's meant to keep in her school bag in her bag so she got completely wet on the way home and the moment she gets home, it stopped raining. So, <laughs> like, poured down though before that. Might put a tiny little bit more water. Just a little, little. 
just enough to get it moved and make sure it doesn't burn. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just cook these right down, um, like till they're like, um, yeah, just cook them right down until they're like all pushed down. Then I put some carrots, so I'm going to quickly break these. I already peeled them, but you don't have to peel them if you don't like to peel them. It's up to you. It makes no difference, really. So, yeah. Probably should have done this too before I started, but, yeah. I just wanted to get in and quickly show you guys um, how to make them. So, I didn't really think about chopping stuff up and all that. <laughs> I was just like thinking about getting on the camera and doing it. <laughs> this is a good little arm workout doing this braiding. <laughs> I really hate the last little bit, it always it's dodgy, it scares me. It makes me think that it's gonna cut my finger off. Mmm. So good. Better give them a little stir. Yum! Smells amazing and all it is is onion cooking. It's amazing how something can make something smell so amazing even if it's just like one ingredient. Oh, I just got carrot fly up somewhere. It's probably stuck to my face somewhere. <laughs> How's everyone's day been going? My day has been quiet. I didn't really do anything interesting today. Just kind of hung around the house and yeah, that's about it. Oh, my wane's coming up on the weekend. I'm kind of nervous because I already know that I've gained weight. I've been just my legs have been so, so swollen lately and and it feels like my, um, they are, it just feels like they're not going down and they're like really contributing to all the extra kilos I'm putting on. So I think that I need to maybe start wrapping them or something up and try and get some of the excess fluid or something out of them, but so much work to wrap them, so I just don't know if I can be bothered. Maybe I'll just start, you know, doing something I don't know <laughs> okay so once you've done that let's put the carrot in and start it cooking it a little bit as well you want all of these to just mulch down to like basically cook to like it'll kind of make like a um smoosh of everything <laughs> it's a little bit more water So while that's happening, I'm going to move this to the side, move this over, and also, oh, I've got like carrot and everything all over the table here. <laughs> um, also I have this um, spinach, it is absolutely brilliant, it's like a dollar for a packet and I buy like, I buy like so much spinach and you know anything you cook you can just like shove it in it you know even if you're making it gravy or something you can always put your spinach in it mulches down to nothing and it's like good extra um you know extra good stuff for your body what do they have in what spinach isn't it like iron or something i don't really know to be honest i'm not a nutritionist <laughs> i have no idea <laughs> i just know it's good so i'm putting the whole packet in as well I always use this to just get some of these vegetables up into one little pile. <laughs> okay. So get that out of the way. Now, get this. Just giving it a little mix around. It's starting to, you know, it's starting to mulch down a bit, but it's still got a ways to go. So a little bit more water. 
just keep adding it as you need it you know because if you don't add water it, it might actually burn so and you don't want that so i've got my bowl and i am going to put my lentils in it i use the coles brand lentils i was using a um expensive brand lentil but i found that you get more in a can with the the cheap brand ones and i found that the lentils in the cheap brand ones seem better quality which is bizarre so that's what i do you could you know cook your own lentils or whatever but i honestly i rarely cook lentils unless i'm making a soup or something um even then if i have the cans like i've got probably 40 cans of lentils and chickpeas at, or not chickpeas and red kidney beans in my cupboards at the moment because i literally use so many all the time and um and it's convenient you know you're going to use them more if you can actually like use them kind of thing not have to wait for them to cook and all that kind of stuff that's a pain in the butt um unless you know if you have a steamer or something which that's how i cook mine but still takes time you know so takes time time that people don't have these days no one seems to have time i have a lot of time on my hands too much time but even still it's just laziness i guess and convenience convenience so i do the cans mostly so you got them and you want to mash them up so i actually screwed up with this because normally i mash one can at a time and add the next one it's easier but we'll do it this way oh oh they're like holding their lentilness together <laughs> oh oh it's not like mashing potatoes or something it really it's quite hard to um just smush them you know what lucky i got another bowl here i'm gonna do like a can at a time just to make it easier yeah that's better it's amazing how like um if you use a lot it's really hard but if you use a little bit it's so much easier like 100 percent easier so you want to mash them up until they look like poo i guess you'd say or something like that you know it's like just a smushy consistency you could do it in a blender or something like that if you prefer the really smoothness you know i don't really care to be honest it's just like that's the kind of consistency I do it. They're kind of, you know, there's some of them are formed still in that, just some of them aren't. Some of them are mushed and that's how I like it. And it helps the patties stay together when you're rolling them, you know. If you don't mush them at all, they're, they're gonna be harder to keep together. So that is why I do it this way. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get some of this off. And give it another mix. Um, still got a ways to go. I want it right down, mushed down as far as I can get it to, as cooked down as as I can get it. <laughs> so yes, that is that. <laughs> oh, the window's open. I hope no one's no one's outside because at night everyone can see straight through the windows this one's closed but the one over there i don't know if anyone could even see me but you know paranoid though still that people will be looking at me <laughs> uh. actually a good arm um, workout cooking <laughs> like when you have to mash or grate or any of that stuff it, it's like a little workout just a little one okay so that's good for that one now i'm like trying to do this one oh. um so i reckon by the time i get these mashed and that flavored it should almost be ready i'm gonna add a tiny drizzle more water though Last time I think I did less onions because this seems like a lot more than last time but I wanted to make a bigger batch this time because um, my daughter loves these so much. She'll take them to school on her sandwiches or something like that um, or she'll have them. She had the cheese and pickles today that I made yesterday, the cashew cheese and she's like, mum it tastes be like the best cheese ever. It tasted exactly the same as regular cheese with the pickles. So. 
was quite happy that, you know, because she has been complaining for ages about the cheese situation. Um, because, you know, it's nice to have cheese. I don't know, we, we like cheese in this house. And that was one thing that was the hardest thing to, like, replace. And so it's nice to actually replace it and be able to. So I'm going to tip this back in here. Ooh, without spilling it, hopefully. <laughs> oh, it's like much to the bottom so hard. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to use my fingers for this because it's like splopped in there. So it's basically all mushed up and you wanna wait till those things are really cooked down and then you mix them together. So, you know what, I'm looking at this bowl and this bowl doesn't look very big, so. I'm thinking how I'm going to fit it all in. So I don't know at this point. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the thing and I'm going to let this cook down for a minute more and I'll be back. Okay, so I got rid of the frying pan. Um, that's the pretty much consistency you want. It's just like all a bit mushy up in that. So now I'm going to start flavoring it a little bit. So I have some beef stock powder. It's not beef beef, it's not real beef because it's got no animal products whatsoever. It's muscle. It's the only brand I pretty much used. I tried the, I think it's like Veta or Vegeta. I don't know. I didn't like it. It was kind of gross. So um, just put a little tiny, you know, just a little bit in there. Ooh. And then you want some chicken one, which is same thing, no animal products, but it tastes like chicken stock. So, you know, can't complain about that, hey? bit of that a little bit of the vegetable stock I prefer to use not just one type I prefer to use like um, either chicken and beef at the same time or vegetable and all that at the same time just whatever it just makes it taste better so I'm also gonna put some onion um, powder even though I've got all that onion in it just makes it I don't know it enhances the flavor a lot So also the garlic powder I use a lot of onion and garlic powder in my cooking. Um, don't know why I just did it. <laughs> Some cumin, just a little bit of cumin, not too much, just a little bit, but not too much. I don't know, you guys might use less cumin than me. I don't know, it just, this is a little bit. <laughs> a lot, it's like a couple of teaspoons or whatever. So, a little bit of parsley. So, let's put that in. Oh. Okay, and some paprika. You don't have to use these spices, you can use whatever type you want, you don't even need spices. But I like these particular ones and I like how it tastes. So put that in like that. You can just give it a little tiny mix before you um, before you add your lentils because it makes it easier to go through. And then you want to pop your lentils. Ah, oh, that's stuck in the bottom again. So get your lentils out. And... Okay, let's see. Oh, still stuck. Oh, need a bigger spoon for that one. <laughs> okay, so yeah. <laughs> okay, so I might actually put this spoon to the side, out the way, and I'll use this one. So what you want to do is you just want to kind of combine it all together. Um, in a second, I'm probably going to start using my hands. So I'm just trying to get a little bit together first. Um, also, you want to add a little bit of flour. I have some wholemeal flour just here, which I'm going to put in. I might just use this scoop and put a little bit in. This helps it. Um, I've just got, you know, oh, about a tablespoon to start with. We'll see how this goes. Yeah, the spoon thing's not. Oh, my tummy's grumbling. I'm hungry. <laughs> So just get in and knead it like, you know, a dough or something, I guess. Just get it all together. Make sure um, the other stuff's a bit cooler. Like, I, I kinda, it kind of cooled down while I was getting the trays ready. So you want to make sure that it's kind of cool so you don't burn yourself and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Oh, these are going to be so good. I'm going to have them with some steamed vegetables and some pepper gravy or something like that, I think. Mm, mm, mm. Yum, yum, yum. 
and you'd be surprised how much flavor is in it like once they're cooked and also like you could fry these or whatever but i cook them in the oven you don't even need oil i do crumb them and i do find that they're like you know like they're crunchy on the outside but they're not like um not like how if you fried them you know but i don't mind it like 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 that i like it you know i like it like that so you know if your preference is you know frying them it's a bit unhealthier but it's still going to taste just as good if you do that so these need a little bit more flour you want to make sure that like they're really sticking together you don't want them to you don't want them to fall to bits when you when you do it so you want enough flour to keep it together i've also before in these type of things i've cooked like oats and put oats in them as like a thing to kind of munch them together and it, it worked good too so you know you could use your rice flour if you have like a gluten intolerance or you could use your tapioca or corn flour you know just whatever you know buckwheat flour if you want something a little bit more healthier just whatever you prefer so this is almost good i think it's kind of like you know it's like a risole like it even smells like a risole when it's like cooked like a meat risole it smells like i mean not meaty but it kind of does you know kind of taste a bit like that too. <laughs> maybe my mind's just gone different since vegan because everything tastes like meat to me i'm like oh that just tastes just like you know whatever that tastes like something else you know couldn't even tell hardly the difference <laughs> But sometimes I can't, you know, like I really generally can't, especially like, you know, if you were eating like processed stuff a lot before, you know, going vegan, like those processed chickens and stuff like that, like, I don't even know how much chicken meat's in processed chicken, like it can't be that much, I reckon. So, you know, the vegan versions, you know, almost taste exactly the same because, you know, without the chicken, they basically had not much chicken to start with in the actual chicken ones, so... Um, and when you do the vegan ones, you know that you you know, that something didn't have to die for your hunger. And, you know, I, I could have eaten hundreds and hundreds of animals this year if I didn't change to vegan. So it makes me feel good knowing that, you know, just doing my little bit for the world. I know it's not much, but, you know, every little bit counts. You know, every time you maybe, like, don't have meat you know maybe have you know a vegan night once a week that's you know saving saving a bit of animal you know or an animal you know i know you don't eat like a whole animal normally unless it's like a whole chicken or something but you know you could potentially be saving an animal over time you know of not eating the animal products so that's the consistency that you want and what i'm gonna do I'm gonna clean these hands off just a little bit. I have like a semi-damp cloth here just to clean my hand. Um, I go through so many of these cloths. I, I prefer using a cloth than like paper towel. Like, it just seems easier. And I mean, I don't do the washing anyway. I make my husband, <laughs> I make my husband do the washing because the washing machine's downstairs and I don't go downstairs. So he's the washer up, a washer person in my house. Okay, so. I got this now you could stop here you don't have to crumb them you could you know flour them and put them in the oven or you could put them in the oven just like this or you could use them in a frying pan just like this but i like to go one step further and make them feel i don't know they just feel more i guess they feel more unhealthy when i crumb them even though they're not fried or whatever just you know check your crumbs because not all crumbs are vegan a lot of them aren't but you can get vegan crumbs so or you can make them yourself you know with vegan bread easy you know so just get the size you want you can do tiny little nuggy ones like that like you know little tiny ones and or whatever or you can do huge ones if you want like big burger patties it's up to you i just kind of go like medium size about yay big and I just put them in the crumbs, kind of place them out and shove them on the thing. And that's how I do it. And then I cook them in the oven on 180 degrees Celsius for um, about um, probably 20 or so minutes, depending on your oven, you know, like um, it could take less. Just check them, you know, when, they, when they're cooked on the outside, like the crumbs are cooked and they're like starting to, you know, like 
brown a tiny bit they're ready you know because all the insides basically cooked like the flour takes nothing to cook so yeah so they're really easy to do so I don't know maybe I should stop this camera and get these all done so you guys don't have to watch me roll them all out um, mm, can't really think of anything else I was going to talk about today um, so yeah maybe I'll just stop the camera here I'll um I'll roll these out get them cooked and I will show you later when they're ready um, what they look like when they're ready and yeah so I'll see you guys in a little bit Bye. okay that's the finished product I think I've got about 25 or so there so yeah yummy yummy vegan patties yum